Hi, this is a Pace Heatwise 100 soldering iron which I purchased from eBay about seven to eight years ago and it's been one of the best soldering irons I've ever had. I had a little look on the uh, YouTube and saw the Heikos, everyone was preferring the Heikos so I bought one of them. Unfortunately it turned out to be a, a fake one didn't like it completely uh, heating up nicely by the settings and all that pushing the buttons got me a bit annoyed on that to be honest so I stuck to this sold that and I stuck to this and I bought another Pace ST50 now because that one you can change the settings of the heat but this unit is a very nice unit it's got these little modules which start from like 6.5 uh, basically 6.5 will be about 650 Fahrenheit and then they go up like 750, 850, 8, 850 you get them in different different colors uh, like this one this is a basically a 750 I don't know if you can see that so basically you've got this at 750 Fahrenheit running all the time as a nice pencil easy to hold not like those clumsy big irons and you can get into tighter places the tips are very nice because you can remove them so basically if like the Heiko, if the Heiko uh, element goes, you're basically the you got nothing there. You need to replace the element inside the Heiko iron handle. So these basically, if your heater goes or in them, basically you buy another tip and you're up and running again. So you've got no problems, no opening, no nothing, just straight push in. As you can see, this has got a little notch. I don't know if my camera can pick that up on one side. And it has a little arrow type notch on here that basically goes in only one side. So when you're pushing them in, it'll only go in one side. So you're ready to go. That's a nice heavy stand which moves not much, but at least you get an angle when you're putting the pencil in so if you prefer it there or right up there and you just tie this little screw there space for your sponge and for your tips if you have extra tips like you can store them in there like that when not in use or spare ones that you got you can buy various types of tips these are the ones that I have let me just get a little close up on that you can see they're all different different types and all of them are the same basically push-ins this stand basically I made it out of an aluminium piece of metal well a uh, piece that was lying about and I just cut it and made do some holes into it just to so I don't have to have them all over the place so that's that and uh, let me switch this on oh, actually let me just show you what this is right you have the on off button see there the button for your module and if I get them right way around and for your iron that is another th iron the iron will only go in one way basically it will not just push in so you then it's got the little clip there and it clips on in the back you got a three pin connector and a fuse at the bottom underneath you have the power management switch which switches off or goes into sleep mode in 10 minute increments and that way saves your tips from burning out where if the Heiko FX 888D or the not the D or 
you know what I mean basically the one with the D and one without the D basically D means digital and the other one is just the one with the knob that you turn to get the temperature that will basically burn out after a while because if you keep using it and it's on full temperature and you forget and you go out the house and that will keep on running till it burns your house down basically if you forget but in these ones the pace at least they switch off go into sleep mode at least you know the temperature then the tip is okay it's not going to burn you any the elements out right let's plug the kettle lead in and see how long this takes to heat up right here we go it's orange I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not and basically let's try that and you can see it's heated up so that is how long it takes to heat up a very fast heat up time where you will not get that on any other uh, irons you'll have to pay like four to five hundred pounds probably something for this kind of speed to heat up well, 350 to 400 pounds somewhere around there if I'm not mistaken and that is your HW100 pace heat wise soldering iron very nice iron I hope this will help you deciding if you need to get one of these because you can I think you can still pick these up for 100 150 pounds on eBay and uh, it's a good iron than basically the other irons plus these pencils are not the same as the Pace ST50 because that was the reason I bought the ST50 thinking that the tips will be the same where the pin layout is a bit different but the heat element that is in the front it's a bit hot still uh, will fit the, the these tips will fit both the 100 uh, HW100 and the ST50 so that's one good advantage of so if you have got tips and your iron is gone and you upgraded it to the ST50 the pencil will not work basically because the layout on the pins is different which I didn't realize but when I bought the ST50 then I found out that basically this has got a red color on it I don't know if you can see that but we're on the ST50 it is a let me just get that out for you see if I can get that there it is ST50 is basically it's got a blue cover on there I don't know if you can see that and, and that's a red one basically and you can see the pin layouts are completely different Hang on, let me just get that close up before you make the same mistake that what I did yeah you can see there there's one in the middle on this one well, that one actually and there's four different ones they're all separated this one has got like four pins but still so basically this will not fit this iron the ST50 but one thing was good that the pieces do fit so not in the loss so that was quite still good so I've got the two irons with one that has the piece as well now plus storage you can put your irons in there even when this is hot you can remove the tips to change over to the other tip so even if it's running you still can push them in and after a couple minutes well not minutes seconds basically it'll be ready to go again so one of the best irons I think that I've purchased I have tried a couple other different type ones but prefer this to it than any other ones 
Okay guys, I hope this helps you. And that was the HW100 Heatwise soldering iron from Pace.